Hello Libra, welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K and this is the second half of June of 2020. Career and finance, money, reading. All right, <clears throat> pardon me. I'm going to be starting out with the Psychic Tarot deck by John Holland and I'm going to be doing a Celtic spread. And then I'm going to clarify these messages by bringing in the Archangel deck, Archangel Gabriel deck by Doreen Virtue. So now is a time in the center of 2020 to get clear about your soul purpose. Are you doing what you enjoy day to day? <clears throat> um, is there something you've wanted to always learn about or do? Uh, you don't need to choose between a career and starting your own business on the side. You could do both of them. You can come up with two different hobbies, gifts, talents, or skills. But now is the time for all collective to find stability and security, most importantly, emotionally and spiritually, in the area of money and creativity. So are you excited about what you do? What is it that is exciting to you? Have you discovered your purpose? How can you offer a service? For as you share your gifts and skills, clarity is found and you will pay those bills. Trust in spirit and the signs that guide you. For you will find that others will walk beside you. A, con a construction worker creates bears and eagles from wood and others see that his work is good. Therefore, he has found his purpose. People will love what you create and will want and get excited about what you make. Creativity, if you enjoy what you do, will be, bring blessings in your life back to you. So if you have lost your drive, if you aren't excited about what you're doing day to day, now is the time to discover that purpose and to get those supplies and to practice, practice, practice what it is that truly fulfills you day to day, Libra. So dear Lord, spirit guides and angels, please bless whichever Libra energy I'm reading for with clearly defined messages regarding the area of money, creativity, finance, and career. Wow, okay. So we had this card jump out in reverse and that normally doesn't happen. So Spirit is really trying to get this Libra to recognize a brand new beginning. They're saying with the Love Begins energy, pour your heart into that which fulfills you and know that you can create a new beginning. You just need to continue to pour your heart into what fulfills you. You don't need to know exactly which direction you're going, but if you're doing something that you enjoy, know that eventually this will grow and prosper for you. Yes, yeah, so we have a Libra here who in the thoughts position has recognized with the number one that your passion is ignited as you pour your heart into what it is that you enjoy day to day. Now in the foundation, we have the choose wisely energies. So this is about having an inner knowing looking at how much you have learned, looking at a particular knowledge or experience that you have, and contemplating how you're going to take this passionate, exciting energy and move into or present what it is that you enjoy out into the world. So in the recent past, we had the crown chakra. We had a Libra whose crown chakra was lit up. Uh, that started to receive signs and synchronicity, started to understand the spirituality, the positive energy, and the signs from spirit when it came to what they were pouring their love into. Wow, so Libra, look at this. Some Libras by mid-June, others from between the 16th and the 23rd of June of 2020. You're starting to recognize victory and success. He is blowing his horn in celebration that you continue to pour your energy, what it is that you love, into what it is you're passionate about. 
you followed spirit's advice and you chose new ideas, new directions, new platforms as to how you were going to continue to create energies of victory and success. Good for you, Libra. So in your creative aspects position, we have prosperity beginning. We have uh, the guidance to take action, one, 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 to plant seeds, to continue to plant seeds, goals, intentions, and ideas. For as you do, a new path is opening up, a path of victory and success. When it comes to what you are pouring your heart into, when it comes to the passion that this ignites within you. Wow. Spirit is giving you the fertility energies and the spiritual advice position, the number three, the Holy Trinity, Father, Son, Holy Ghost, helping for you to give birth to victory when it comes to what it is you are passionate about. Perfect. So in the hopes and fears position, spirit is saying, have hope. This is about understanding that negative thoughts will create negativity. Positive thoughts and hope will bring victory and success into your life as you move forward. So do not fear this hopeful energy. Have hope that spirit is continuing to guide you out of the shadow side, worries and fears, unhealthy thoughts, feelings, emotions, into the light of your truth. For by the end of June of 2020, this Libra is recognizing that they gave birth to something that they are very passionate about and they're recognizing that they are becoming more and more hopeful and that they are indeed stepping into the light of who they were supposed to be, their life's purpose. And prosperity is beginning through a new idea, a new plan, a new direction that spirit is helping you to give birth to. My gosh, Libra, that's one of the best readings so far. So in a three-card summary to my left, we have communication. There are others that want to support your creative idea. There are going to be or has been uh, very harmonious connections and support from others. So continue to express with your throat chakra being lit up what it is that you are passionate about. For new ideas, uh, new directions, opportunities could very well show up in the second half of June of 2020. Do not fear, envy, deception, or jealousy of those around you. But continue to patiently plan that path of success. To slowly but surely choose a direction and a platform where you can manifest material and spiritual change in your life, an additional income, um, a hobby, gift, talent, or skill, putting out what you are manifesting via the internet, not fearing with the number five, this unpredictable constant motion of things. Do not allow your mind to become conflicted for spirit is helping you to give birth to some form of attention and recognition. I feel like some Libras have already recognized that they, because of recognition and attention, that they are doing what it is they were meant to do. Um, but some are feeling trapped in energies of fear. And I think that's what this shadow side energy is. With the number eight and the 18, eight is about, I used to be trapped in fear, but now I'm moving into a new path and I'm coming out of my shadow side and I'm stepping into the light of who I was meant to be. And I'm recognizing through recognition, attention, reward, that things are happening rather quickly, <clears throat> maybe quicker than I had expected. Things are happening as you come out of an unhealthy perspective and step into a higher better journey uh, there is message there's a message here of patience so have hope and patience that as you continue with the second uh, with the sacral chakra <clears throat> to work on your creativity that simultaneously you will be freed from old emotions yeah there may have been worries and concerns heartache and loss regarding the home foundation and your achievements. 
But Spirit's saying don't give up. Take action to continue to plant new seeds, goals, intentions, and ideas. And do not give up. For you will obtain some form of wisdom. Even though the circumstances are unpredictable with the number five, Spirit's saying you will have the power. You will feel the power of the elder or the lion where you can set goals and intentions and where you can conquer everything between where you stand and where it is you want to be. Like the prey for the lion. You're going to obtain wisdom if you continue to focus on your victory and success. There is material and spiritual prosperity coming and there will be energies of positive movement forward. Some of you are going to come to a realization that it's time to move on because something is being born here as spirit is assisting you. So listen to your intuition. Let spirit continue to guide you into a new path, a new direction with new ideas, new goals and intentions. For spirit wants to bring you into a very solid, firm foundation where you can free yourself from a long path of suffering and silence and finally open up your heart chakra and finally allow yourself to have hope. For triumphant success is coming. One, 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 one. A new path. As soon as you free yourself from worries and fears with the disruption energy, as soon as you step out of the shadow side that doesn't serve you, as soon as you step into the light of who you were meant to be, as you plan with the number zero, a new beginning will become and evolve for you. Beautiful. So it's at this point in this time of the year where people need to get clear about what your sole purpose is, what a business is going to be about that you like doing, where you can teach and help others or guide others and eventually maybe hand that business down to the next couple generations. All right, so I'm clarifying by bringing in the Archangel Gabriel deck by Doreen Virtue. Yeah, so see, this fell out in reverse, right? Love begins. Are you pouring yourself into what you truly enjoy? For Spirit is saying, we just want you to enjoy the flow of this beautiful new beginning. Some of you may be starting to feel that by mid-June of 2020, Libra. But with the let go energy, Spirit's saying, release the desire to try and control the situation. Leave it up to God's infinite wisdom to resolve everything beautifully. Remember the signs and synchronicities that have led you up until now and let go of trying to control how this path is going to flow. Beautiful. In the thoughts position, we have the passion ignited energy. Ign passion, your passion is being ignited as you think about a new beginning during the second half of June of 2020. For Spirit saying, you are deserving, like all God's children, of happiness, of good health, of love, of excitement. So choose wisely. Think about where you've been and where you are headed. For Spirit's giving you the writer's group energy in your foundation. It's time to connect with like-minded people. It's time to create or join a group where you can gain and share inspiration, friendship, and support. I feel like some of you are doing this by mid-June of 2020. You know what I'm talking about. You noticed in the past that as you, as your work, as you worked on something, it expands, and this card says with the agent or manager energy, your work expands its reach as you partner with a professional who can help you. Maybe some of you learned through others, and that's what we do, right? We obtain knowledge. Knowledge is power, and once we have that wisdom, we teach other people. Once other people have that wisdom, they teach us, and then we learn from them, and we build on that. So let it go. Let it flow. Learn from others. Connect with like-minded people and know that you are deserving of this new beginning because of the effort you have put in. Now, if you haven't been putting effort into a hobby, gift, talent, skill, a new business idea, it doesn't mean that it's too late. For the week of the uh, June 22nd of 2020, there is victory and success. So you could start working on this as soon as possible. Focus on 
you know, writing, drawing, painting, doing makeup, um, nails, whatever it is that really fulfills you. Knowing that recognition is coming your way, that victory, and you'll know victory and success is transpiring for you because you and your accomplishments will be received, appreciated, and honored. People will be impressed as you plant new seeds, goals, and intentions, ideas, videos, whatever that's about, writing songs, and sharing them with the world. Spirit is saying that your ideas, the ideas that you are receiving are heaven sent. This is all being, you're being divinely guided. And all you need to do is continue to plant seeds in your actions position. For in the spiritual advice position, Spirit's saying we are giving you the energies of fertility. Part of your life purpose involves teaching, guiding, or helping young people. So what I'm getting from this is as you give birth to new ideas, as you recognize that you are receiving attention and recognition because of your accomplishments, that you are deserving of the blessings that Spirit is sending to you through this divine guidance energy that children could learn from watching you. You could teach younger people how you started your business so that they can come up with their ideas, whether it's the same type of business or idea of yours or a different one. It's all about trusting and having faith in hope. So do not fear. In fact, pray to spirit and have hope that through your dreams, you will receive divine guidance while you're asleep, pay attention to your dreams in the second half of June of 2020, while your skeptical mind sleeps. For by the end of the month of June of 2020, Libra, as you have expressed your inner truth, your creative work shines brightly as it reflects your genuine feelings and thoughts. No longer do you have to hide in the shadow of who you used to be with worries and fears and trying to control how things are going to happen. Pay attention to your dreams. Recognize when you receive that attention and recognition that spirit is guiding you towards success and victory. Connect with others. And don't try to control how this is going to unfold. And as you learn how to give birth to an idea, a business, your goals, intentions, skills, projects that you can teach others as well about this process. Look at that. On the bottom of the deck, Libra, you have motivation. Pray for guidance as to how to increase your enthusiasm for and focus on this project. Spirit is giving you the motivation to slowly but surely plan a new beginning, to not try to control it, but to connect with others, to receive inspiration, friendships, and support, recognition and attention as you plant new seeds. Know that your ideas are heaven sent. Maybe create a, um, a journal as to how you began something how you remained motivated, and how you can motivate others with new beginnings in their life. Wow. So you deserve this. Let go. Connect. You will receive attention and recognition. Pay attention to your dreams. For your creative work shines bright, brightest when it reflects your genuine feelings and thoughts. There's a lot here in the actions position. As you continue to take action to plant new seeds, goals, and intentions, prosperity begins. And you're going to start to recognize that the ideas you are receiving, whether it's in your dreams or just in the middle of the day, that these are heaven-sent answers to your prayers. Some of you may be worried about children, but as you receive attention and recognition, your, your children are going to, and family even, will be impressed by the fact that your ignited passions 
are bringing you the happiness, good health, and love that you deserve in this life. Wow. So, should these messages have resonated and you have further questions and or you would like your own personal energy read, feel free to write me at my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com. I offer a one-month, three-month, six-month, and yearly reading, and my price list will be in the box below this video. I am still offering the Now Summer Special, which is a 15-minute video reading for just $25 if you'd like to give it a try. So thank you so much for stopping by. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so very much to those of you whom have donated. Take care, and God bless.